Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are having a pretty good Monday. And uh, today, we're bringing us episode number 16 of Hut Roulette. And the last episode, we ended off with a 6-game win streak. And we're trying to bring it up to a 7th and 8th one this episode. And I'm pretty excited to uh, play some Hut Roulette. Because not only uh, are we 3-0-0 in the season and we got 6 points in Division 2. But we also get to try out uh, Mr. Magic Kane with a plus 2 all, the captain card on him. And I'm looking forward to trying out his car and seeing what he can do uh, for our team. And he's also got some pretty nice uh, line mates as well. He's got Patrice Bergeron and Brick Nash on his line. So lots of chances for him to score some goals. On the second, we got Forsberg. Uh, one, of the, one of the guys in the comm box below told me to move up Johnson uh, to the second line instead of putting in David Krejci. So that's what I did. And I moved down Krejci to the third line. You'll see a little bit later. But he's playing alongside with James Neal and Forsberg. And then third line, we got Blake Wheeler. Uh, we got the Simmons. We also got the Cray Cray, Cray Chi. And on the fourth, we got uh, actually a pretty hot fourth line right now. Glenn Cross, Little, and Patrick Marlowe. So we'll see how our offense does in the next couple of games. But I'm pretty forward to looking forward to playing some games already. Anyways, on our defense, you guys know that we picked up a silver guy. Uh, not many changes with the defense uh, other than Kaka. And um, pretty interesting facts, uh, someone told me that uh, the Espo Blues are actually going bankrupt soon. So hopefully uh, we can uh, do them some justice and uh, we can hopefully score them some goals. I'm still messing up my commentary a little bit, but whatever. We're going to keep going here. So we're going to get the first game going here. I'll meet you guys in there. Let's see who we face. Oh god, Trump change. Alright, here we go. Let's see who he has on his team. He's got Patrick Kane as well. He's got John Tavares and Steven Stamkos. Alright, doesn't matter. We got our new pickup. We got the Junior Flashback Kane as well. So, we'll get this game going here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that's the start I'm talking about. Snipe it! Yes! Wow, what a goal right off the bat. Hopefully he doesn't quit. I mean, 19 minutes and 7 sec or 19 minutes left in the first period still. He doesn't quit, but we got the early goal lead. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Little. He steals the puck. Back, Double backhand. Yes! There's another goal. Oh, man. On the penalty kill as well. And Brian Little with a double backhand. We're now winning 2 to nothing so far. Let's keep it up, guys. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, this guy's a pretty good team, but we're just lighting up right now. Let's keep it up. Come on. Come on, Garrison. Come on, get back. Oh, nice save by Luongo. Oh, man, he was going for that glitch goal, but come on. Come on, don't let him get that goal. No. I had some guys in front of the net, but couldn't poke check it in time. And Luongo making some big saves in the beginning, but couldn't stop that one. But it is now 2-1. to one. Hopefully, we don't lose this lead now. I mean, I don't want to lose this two-goal lead in the first period. No, there's no way. Come on. Yeah, okay. Wave that one off. Oh, Jesus. I I don't know what's with this game, but every time uh, they come down on me, it just seems like it's a pretty for sure goal. But, okay, it was counted off. 2-1 to one still. Come on. I need to play better. Come on. 15 seconds left. Don't let him score this one. Back it up. Nice play, Marlo. Got some good defense there. Come on. Three seconds left. Get a quick shot on net. Oh, uh, okay, that's not going to go in. But so far, playing pretty good. Uh, just got to warm up a little bit defensively. I kind of woke up like a couple hours ago, so I'm still a little bit rusty. But uh, we'll see. We'll take a look at the stats right now. Yep, definitely could use a little bit more work on defense. But uh, the stats right now, 8-4 to four in shots, 3 minutes time on attack to 2 minutes. So he's definitely outplaying me a little bit. I got to make sure that I get some more shots on net because seems like everything for me is going in right now. Just keep shooting the puck. Let's see what we can do. Oh, he gets by. Can he get by Carlson? No. Okay, okay. He keeps it in, though. He keeps it in. Uh, let's look for, look up for the guy. Little. Oh, he lays me out with Stamkos. Oh, there's the faceoff win. Kane. Oh, Carey Price. Big glove save. Come on. Patrick Kane's got the 91 shot. Why is he not scoring that one? Oh, no. I had a chance to walk in again. 
can't score with him. All right, so end of the second period. We're heading into the third, and uh, we definitely stepped up our game just a little bit. Although we haven't scored any goals, we need to capitalize a little bit more and make sure that we tuck those goals in because, I don't know, we give up goals really quick in this game right now and uh, not comfortable with one goal lead. Let's see what we can do in the third. Oh, there's a break. Come on. Good defensive play. Good defensive play. Oh, no. Can not beat the goalie, but can we get the puck still? Grab it. Grab it. Stick lift. Oh, no. We had a good breakaway there, but just couldn't tuck that one in. Oh, we got by Carlson. Bye, Tavares. Oh, Blake Wheeler finish it off. Oh, man. Nice little chance there. Bring it back down. There it is. Stick lift. Okay, we got six seconds left. Can we play some good defense? Come on. Two seconds left. One second left. Big save by Luongo, and that is the win, which means we continue our streak to a seven-game win streak. And you guys know we can raise that buy now minimum to 7,000 coins. That was a great game by us. Uh, I mean, two goals early in the uh, first period. We were able to hang on still, which I'm pretty... Uh, happy about but let's take a look at the stats 18 to 17 shots nine minutes time on attack to eight minutes and 40 seconds Pretty much just a offensive stalemate our, our goalies played really well that game uh, but Let's take a look at the three stars Johnny Goudreau for him gets the first star uh, Luongo for us gets the second star That's pretty nice as well as the third star Patrice Bergeron. So our, our guys played pretty good We got most of the stars there, but anyways, let's go ahead and go back to the marketplace choose 18th player and I'll meet you guys there Alright, so here we go guys. We are back at the auction search page. Collection type has been put onto players. The buy now minimum has been set to 7,000. So let's see if we can get anything good. And uh, let's hopefully not pull another silver player. I do not want another one of those. So the 18th player is going to be Henrik Zinnia's number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 Gustav Nyquist I've actually not really tried out his card this much this year but we got another right winger to add into our collection of right wingers on our hot roulette team let's buy him out see where he fits in all right guys so we are back I've thrown in Gustav Nyquist into the first line I feel like uh, I don't know uh, Rick Nash is a good player but I feel like if we got Goose in there with the 90 skating I think it'll be a pretty good compliment with Patrick Kane and Patrice Bergeron so we'll see how that line plays out the only player that we did take out was uh, Curtis Glencross from the fourth line I decided to add in Rick Nash the second line right wing I'm not sure if you guys agree or disagree with me but I'll make sure to show you the stats at the end of this game I know uh, Ben you've been asking for those stats I will make sure to show you those stats later but I uh, put in Philip Forsberg into the fourth line and I think that is a pretty good compliment uh, with Brian Little and Patrick Marlowe so we'll see how that goes but we're gonna get right into the second game of the episode let's see what we can do oh yeah playing back at home let's see what he has he's got Kane Backstrom and Phil Kessel on his team so you can definitely tell the division two teams are getting a lot better nice little hit there and uh, let's get this game going let's see if we can score some early goals Oh, there's a break. Go little, go little. You got the break, you got the break. Try to skate in a straight line. The backhand forehand, and it goes through the five hole. Yes. Nice early goal lead. Another shorthanded goal, and we beat Dubnik on the play. Brian Little, that's two shorthanded goals already. That's what I'm talking about, man. Brian Little, he's just a nice little quickster that can get the puck nice and quick, and his poke checks are, are on point too. So let's keep it up now. One to nothing early in the first period. Yep, that one's going in every single time. He winds it up, and he scores a goal with, uh, that's going to be Cho Bavelski scoring that goal. But, uh, not really helping out my goal right there. And it's now 1-1, one one, and he got that goal right back. Yep, and just like that, we are at the end of the first period, and we're going to the second. And I'm going to tell you guys, this is probably one of the hardest opponents I've faced so far. I mean, his stick handling's on point. He knows how to pass the puck properly, and, uh... I mean, so far it's one-to-one. -one. We got to make sure we get the lead 
and uh, secure it just a little bit because, I don't know, I feel like he's going to score some goals very soon. So, come on, let's have a strong second period. Get by him, little. Get by him. The double backhand, and there's another goal. I think that was shorthanded as well. I'm not sure, but oh man, little is just a shorthanded scoring machine. I don't know. That wasn't a shorthanded goal, but look at that. Two goals for him this game. That is solid. All right, we got the lead now. Let's see what we can do. Come on, Patrick Kane. Come on, see if we can do anything. Just get a shot on that. Oh no. Okay, Goose has got it. Goose has got it. In front! There it is! No! Man! Oh, there's there's another chance. Grab the puck, grab the puck. Oh, there it is. Curl! Shoot! Oh, no. Nice little defensive play. Oh, Kane's got a break. How do you do that? The back and forth in. Oh, man. Kane's got some speed, though. He's still got some speed. Not the body, though. He does not have the body. Yes! Tyler Johnson! He gets the puck point-blank chance, and he's not going to make a mistake on that one. The backhand... And he roofs it on a Dubnik right there. That's what I'm talking about. We got a two-goal lead in the third period. That's what I like. Oh, what a save. Oh, man. I thought what, I would try not to be too selfish and pass the puck there. But let's try to get a slap shot on. He's covering that point pretty well. Okay, let's make sure he doesn't get by our defense. Be a little bit more conservative with our poke checks. There you go, just stand right in front of his shot. Uh, okay, get the puck. If we can get that puck now, we can hopefully get a nice break. And that's what I'm talking about. We got a three on one. Go, go, go. He's got Goudreau back. Snipe it. Oh, Nash, he had a beautiful chance. One more. One T. Not one T, uh, just a slap shot. But, oh, man, we couldn't tuck that one in. No, Kane, you can't miss that goal. Oh, it doesn't matter. There's only 10 seconds left, but... Oh, man, he has not scored any impressive goals so far. He's just been missing a lot of shots, but that's going to end off this game. Two seconds left. That was a solid victory. I, I, I don't usually give, uh, you know, the best player in HUD I've faced so far uh, that title to anyone. So this guy played a pretty good game, and uh, but we still came up with a victory, which I'm happy about, and that means we have continued our streak uh, in our, our in Division 2, and we got 8 points, so we're undefeated so far in Division 2, which I'm liking. 5-0-0 in the season, that's what I'm talking about. And that means we're going to be heading into Division 1 uh, very, very soon. So, let's take a look at the game stats there. 24-19 in shots, 8 minutes and 9 seconds time on attack, 6 minutes and 19 seconds. So, uh, we played a pretty good game. We also got a shorthanded goal. He got a power play goal, so we got to give up less power plays there. Let's take a look at the three stars, and look at that. All three of our guys are the three stars. Brian Little with two goals, leading the team. That's what I'm talking about. The fourth liner uh, being really clutch right there. Roberto Luongo getting the second star again, and Tyler Johnson with the third star. So, very solid performance by our guys. So, let's choose the 24th player. We also got to buy an 87 50 pack. I'll meet you guys there. Yeah, so we're actually not supposed to buy uh, the 8750 pack. I'm actually recording this an hour later because I actually went through with it. And uh, the commentary doesn't really make too much sense after that because I pulled a lot of pretty good stuff from that pack. And uh, I don't know. It doesn't really make sense with the commentary. So I'm just going to be redoing the pickup. So the collection type has been put onto players. The buy now minimum has been set to 8,000. So let's go ahead and choose that 24th player and let's see what we get. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
23-24. Like you guys know, we have already have a Tyler Johnson on our team, which means we're going to go right into the second page and pretend this page is just like we haven't even seen it. And we're going to start back from the beginning and count our way up. So the 24th player on this page is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Daniel Sedin is going to be the next pickup. Pretty solid player. He's got 90 hands and 88 shot. Kind of like a James Neal type of player, but, you know, obviously has a little bit more playmaking skills. So, anyways, let's throw in Daniel Sedin onto our team. Let's see where he fits in. Alright guys, so usually I ended off with a team update, but instead I'm just going to be going through the player stats and I'll be wrapping up the episode there. So anyways, I'm going to need some more line suggestions because right now we have a lot of offense, but I don't exactly know who to take out. So I guess this will be a pretty good way to gauge who's been performing and who's been not performing. So I'll organize it by points. I don't know, you guys let me know if I should do it differently next time, but uh, I'll go through the list of who's been performing. There's some notable ones like Patrice Bergeron, 16 games played and 13 points. Uh, same with uh, Rick Nash, 18 games played, 13 points. So that first line was actually doing pretty well before before I switched it. Uh, Brian Little that we added in six games ago. And look at that. Look how hot that card is. Four goals and one assist in six games. That's sick. As well as, look at that as well, Patrick Kane, three games played and only one point. So we'll see if we can uh, maybe spark some uh, goals from him because he's definitely a staple on our team. I want him to perform a little bit better. So anyways, guys, leave me some more line suggestions in the comment box below. And if there are any line suggestions that you agree with, leave that comment a like so I can at least go through like 20 top comments instead of like 200 individual ones. So that is just about it. I'll make sure to build the team after that. And there's still Daniel Sedin. Totally forgot. I'm uh, trying to add in everything that I'm forgetting right now. But Daniel Sedin is also uh, up for, I guess, putting onto the team as well. I still want to use him. Uh, so that is pretty much it, guys. I'm going to end off the episode there. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy it, leave it a like. And you guys didn't enjoy it, uh, you can leave a dislike as well. And let me know uh, how I can improve on these episodes. But anyways, guys, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Yes, there it is, James Neal with an absolute platform. We make it do this too. Let's get it.